This is a tutorial on using the new GIS interactive map available now on the TWRA website. Web address is tn.gov forward slash TWRA. Navigate, navigate to Google Chrome. In the address bar, you're going to want to type in the web address tn.gov slash TWRA. Once the page loads, you'll want to click on the maps picture. Scroll down on this page and click on the Wildlife Management Area Maps. Scroll down, you'll see a big image of the state of Tennessee. You'll want to click on that to view the interactive map. It may take a little while to load. All right, as you can see, you can see the different regions of Tennessee. We're going to scroll in and look at West Tennessee, Region 1. The green areas you're seeing highlighted are wildlife management areas and huntable lands. Uh, the red areas uh, are often TWA fishing lakes, safe boundaries where you cannot shoot, cannot hunt. We're going to scroll in on Natchez Trace, click on it, and it'll give you some information, including the acreage, uh, whether you can hunt there or not, the name of it. We're going to close that, but we'll zoom in a little bit with our mouse wheel. takes a little while to load sometimes. Uh, click on it again. You can use the Zoom 2 feature. It'll bring you right in tight on the wildlife management area. We're going to zoom in over here and look at a small area of, of the WMA. This is the Miller Branch area. Let's go over to a landmark that we have. This little uh, tool of measuring will allow you to see exactly how far it is from one point to the other. You can see there's a couple of options up here, measuring, printing, sharing. We're going to use the measure. There's an area, distance, and location. We're going to go over location a little bit later. You can use square miles, feet, uh, acres, whatever you like. Let's go ahead and do some distance. We'll measure from this tree line to any given point. Double click again and it'll tell us that we're exactly 1.02 miles. That line is exactly 1.02 miles. We could do area. We could do area of this clearing here. You know, double click. You can mark your separate points with a single mouse click. So we've highlighted the entire area. This will give us the area of this clearing. Just a moment. See here it's measured in square feet. You can also do square miles. You can do acres, uh, square yards. However you like to see it measured, you can do it. Here we'll see that this field, this clearing is, I believe, around 25 acres, 32 acres, sorry. All right, let's click on the location tool. And what we'll do is uh, we'll pick a location. We'll pick a different location. You can see the longitude and the latitude are changing as we move the mouse. But when you click on a location, here we'll use an area just north of uh, Browns Creek Lake. You see that we have a longitude and a latitude showing, and that's the exact point that you clicked on. And so you can enter that new GPS. Uh, into your phone, your iPhone, your Android device, uh, Google Maps, and it'll take you right to it. So again, let's, that, that's just trace. Let's go to a different area. We're going to go around Chester County. In a moment, we should see Chickasaw pop up. It's a little slow sometimes, depending on your computer and your connection. Scroll in, though, we should find it here any second. It's being finicky. There it is, highlighted. Okay, so this is Chickasaw. What we're going to do is we're going to use the base map option. Select a base map. 
what this is going to do is we're going to change the overlay behind it. There's a lot of options here that we can choose from. Images, streets, topography. What we're going to want to use is streets. This is going to allow us to see an overlay that's similar to Google Maps. So let's say we're looking for a turn off. We can zoom in. We want to hunt this area over here. Scroll in. We can see that here's Tennessee 100. And it meets up with uh, this road here. We can do distance again. We can do location. We can put our exact location in there. So we can get GPS coordinates. We can get directions there through Google Maps or any other uh, software you have that's GPS enabled. Let's close that down. Zoom back out a little bit. Pick a different point. We're going to be able to print. Now the print option will not always work perfectly. You may have to zoom out to get everything that you want into the picture. But when it loads, now we have a printable map of the area that we had selected. We can see the Chickasaw Golf Courses up here. Uh, we can see the boundaries. All right, let's change back to a different overlay. Let's use topography. And now you can see the elevations and the different areas of Chickasaw WMA. You could print it. You can do any measurements that you want, just like you can in any of the other base layers. Going back to the aerial satellite view, it's a nice feature. This is all using uh, satellite imagery. You can zoom in as far as it'll let you and get a good idea of what uh, the area that you want to hunt actually looks like. You can see that we've got a clearing here. This looks like it may be even a tree, like in the middle of the clearing. So you get a good idea of what's out there. Some of the satellite imagery is a little bit old, but it still gives you a very good idea of what the land looks like. And that was Chickasaw. And that was using the GIS application available on our website. Let's go over and look at one of the more popular areas in West Tennessee. That would be President's Island waiting right now, hoping it'll load. There it is. Southwest of Memphis. This is President's Island WMA. See it's highlighted. Click on it. It gives you the size. You can hunt on it, yes or no. Again, you can use any of the features here you want. You can add different overlays. Uh, you can zoom in to get an idea of what the terrain is like. You can use your measurement tool. You can print maps of a specific small area, or you can zoom out and get a bigger area, whatever you like to do. This is all available through your, uh, your iPhone as well as uh, an Android device. If you have GP GPS enabled, you'll be able to actually go in and see it on your phone. It'll show a little blue dot where you are overlaid onto the map. That's all for now. Thank you.